Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make, how to uh, use image based reflections in UDK. This is a uh, DirectX 11 feature, so if you haven't set up with DirectX 11 and you want to, go back and watch my other video on how to switch to DirectX 9 to DirectX 11. Um, so starting, you're going to open up the UDK, then you're going to create a basic BSP, like assuming you know how to make it, that's I put 124 by 124 by 30, and then you added it, and uh, had my builder brush, added a light, and I'm just gonna recreate, I'm gonna rebuild the lights, not using light mass real quick, and I close. Don't worry about the errors. So there's your floor. Then you're gonna go into the material editor, and I'm gonna go to materials, and I'm gonna go to building. And under building, I'm going to use this tutorial, this uh, mater ma material right here. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and then edit using material editor. If you want, you could create your own material. It's perfectly fine. I'm just not going to for this tutorial. Um, okay, so first off, we're going to go here and type in constant. And we're going to drag and drop that in here. And I'm going to set this to 1. Then you're going to drag that into specularity. So now you have a nice shimmer to it. Um, then you're going to click on your preview material 1 or just off to anything else. And under D3, D11, right down here, you're going to select use image based reflections. Might take a second. All right, so once that's clicked, push save and then going to close out of that and drag and drop your material onto your, your floor. Okay. Xing out of that. I'm going to rebuild the lights real quick. And I'm actually going to lower my light so that it's more focused in on a single spot so you can see the reflections. And I'm going to go into the, the content browser, clear that, go all assets, and go to static meshes. And under static meshes, you're going to find really anything, but I'm just going to, for this tutorial, use... anything let's uh, use this no hold on yeah let's use that um, it's a little box so right now it's not really casting any shadows or reflections not even if we build lights really it's just kind of a shadow like where am I going <laughs> sorry um, so there's a shadow here, that's about it, and we want this to have reflections. Um, let's start there. And then we're going to go into your material, or your content browser, click on active classes, and under uncategorized, you're going to go down to image reflections, and image reflection scene capture. You're gonna drag that into here, and you're gonna navigate around till you can see the circle. Raise that up a little bit, push space to switch the tools, rotate it 90 degrees. And then you're gonna click again twice, and you're gonna move it in front of it, and then you're going to right click on one of the movable arrows and update image reflection scene capture so what this is going to do is going to make a box version of it and you can already see the reflections on the ground just got to move that onto and or into right into the uh, actual box I like to keep it right about here right outside of it so that yeah so that's 
to that. And basically, if I just move... Why is it reloading packages? Please don't tell me it's... See, look at this. This is what I get for not using an older version of UDK. Okay, so you can already see that the reflections are working, and I'm going to rebuild lighting one more time, and I'm going to play from here. And as you can see, there is a reflection on this side of the box. To get the rest of the sides, you can certainly put more on each side and do that. So that's the basic way and the most efficient way of putting image-based reflections using um, DirectX 11. Sorry if I'm a little bit stuttery today. I just am very tired. Had a lot of schoolwork, and um, I want to get these tutorials out here for you guys. I'm glad I can help. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and certainly come and see me on the UDK forums. I have my DirectX 9, DirectX 11 tutorial right here. Come and comment about that and suggest some more tutorials. I'm going to be posting up this tutorial right above there. So, have a great day guys.